first goal in these new unis. Who will it be? A little bit of Canucks history here tonight, Ben. Yeah, Our Connor, huh? Another chance, big save, Thompson, and he can't get the rebound as the Oilers put it home and lead this one to nothing. Yeah, the Canucks a bit lackadaisical there in their own end. Uh, a couple chances possibly to get it out, but instead they, they try to you know, maybe finesse it out a little more than they should, and uh, the Oilers just pounce on a loose puck and they find a way to get it past Thompson, I believe. Cross ice, that pass, hard to handle. Can you chuck up to Parker at the blue line? Just kept it in. In the corner now. Back to Park. Side of the net with a shot stopped by the right pad rebound, and they score. The initial shot was stopped by the right pad of Cosby. Five set for our Docker, the goal scorer here in the second period as the Oilers power play goes to work now. It's Pasemko. Moves for Kendrachuk. He's tied up though. Pasemko able to recover. Find set for our Docker. Back for Kim. Waiting. Now Elaine. The shot. Good blocker save. Rebound. There's Puck. Where scores? At 5 at 5 12. Play. They lead six to nothing. Eight forty-nine left to go in regulation. Kinderchuk to Parker. Long shot. Here's another chance. Mark scores. A big rebound. And the Oilers now lead seven to nothing on the converted touchdown. As that was a great shot by Works and. That was Eric Parker who took the initial shot. Kendra Chuck just missed left circle to the line. Puts Emko to Kim. Can't get a shot away. He'll slide one away. Kim scores! Jack Works ties it at three. And a sigh of relief. The Oilers trying to pour it on now. Silent Miller. Now a shot through traffic. Stop. Didn't get through to Abel. That was blocked. Kim's there at the line. Kincaid and poked away. Jack works. Will ice it for an opportunity. They almost did. Now chips it ahead and scores. He almost got away and almost got picked as the Oilers. There, but uh, they got him late. Parker does a good job containing that rebound. Bernard Docker plays it behind his own net. A long stretch pass here. And the Oilers control. Move, beautiful move made through, backhand scores. What a goal. Jack works with a beauty. Yeah, they have, and you know, he's, he's played a good hockey game here, and not a lot of help, but uh, you know, he's done well. Off the face off, Jack works, will drop, now works again. The chance shot stopped by Hughes, rebound, scores! Jordan Wood following up, and finally, the Oilers get something to talk about here in the second period. Awesome Chuck up the right wing side to center. He's in behind Parker. He's driving to the net and he'll go into the far corner and then put on the brakes. Feeds it back to Hunt. It gets knocked away. It's a two on one for the Oilers. Rougey trying to get back. Works coming in. Moving in. Firing. Scoring. Okanoks wins 4-3 in overtime. Heartbreaking. Off the face off. Kinder Chuck shot. That's off Newell's skate to the corner. McAdam after the puck now. Now behind the net, it's Works. He spins and leaves it there for Pasemko. Pasemko turns, centered it. Works trying to get to the puck. Turn, shoots, pad save, they score.
go back to Max John Galano, the original assist, and or the original goal, and passing with the assist so for John Galano this season, and just his third goal of the year. So Matt Sanders now stretch pass in behind the fence. Works looking for the hat trick. Forehand scores. Would love to throw a hat. Would love to throw one. Can't. Yeah, well, that's Zonveld. Now cross ice. Brady Risk got out of the way of Michael or Matthew Sanders, who had an assist last night on a good stretch pass for Jack Works, who has the puck right now, trying to cut in. He's looking for more. His shot scores. Make it eight straight games with a goal for Jack Works. And again, Matthew Sanders will set him up. And the Oilers jump to a 1 0 lead. 5 23 or 5 3rd group once again on the penalty kill. 20 seconds gone in the penalty to Zonfeld, who leads the Dragons in penalty minutes with now 74. Here's Louis Jarmanick now. Leaves for Jack Works on his forehand. He'll keep to the point for Noah Kim. Now Bernard Docker sells the puck down. Trying to give it back to Kim. Does high point across. One-timer works the shot right off. Dallas rebound. Loose to the slot. Works again. Scores! An absolute blast from the shot clock. And the... It's kind of fun to watch. Off the face-off. The Oilers tie up their man as Heemstra almost took it away. But now Noah Kim's going to put on the Jets as he'll dump and allow the forwards to go into work as Kinderchuk works and Morovic out right now. Here's works on the... Scores! Two straight games. Bowerman plays it around the boards here for Kincaid. He'll slide it up ahead. Roche Setaguchi has it. He'll get it to works. There's a shot. He scores. That is not. Kim knocks his man, Dallas McCray. As Kim now with 23 assists. Just the one assist to Kim. And the Oilers now will come away with the puck as. Here's Works trying to get around Spear. He's got a partial break. Works backhand scores! How do you do as Jack Works puts on the draw? Ch- They'll make the first move of the period as they're on the power play. Kane, Zane Kinderchuk for Bernard Docker. Now it's Parker back for Bernard Docker. Kinderchuk walks into the right circle. No shot. Pasemko cross ice open. Works scores! Well, that didn't take long at all. Just a mere 23 seconds. And the Oilers quickly are now up three to nothing, trying to pinch to keep it in offensively, but instead, puck comes out to the Oilers blue line where Jack Works will find Tucker McCray, and he fires the puck deep into the Wolverine zone where Duplessis back to play. He gets it right to Works, open scores! How do you like that gift? Just wide as Javen Bushland will check in for the Oilers as David Dock though for Olds has possession. Now it's going to be Dean Spack checking in. Makes a couple moves, and look out as Nelson tried to go at Spack, but he got the worst of it, and he doesn't know where he is right now. He's down to one knee, and seems to be okay. Now it's poked away. Pasemko cross ice. One-timer works. Scores! The Oilers on the hit back at the own, in the neutral zone by the Grizzlies force a turnover. Mark Pasemko had a goal and assist against Bruce Grove. Probably could add three. He sets up Jack Works. It's one to nothing, Oilers. Yeah, that Nelson tried to line up that. Jack Works wins the draw for Oak It's around for Kindrachuk. Dump ahead for Pasemko to the red line down the right wing boards. Plays it in. Chases in after it. David Dock will get there first for Olds to McNeil. Sifted it back behind the net, but Pasemko intercepts. Centers it, just missing it was Works. Now Kindrachuk sets it up for Kim, and his point shot goes just wide. And off of the end boards, it's into the net. In behind Duncan Hughes, it's 4-1 to Oak that one there again, a giveaway in their own zone, and the Oilers pounce on it. Another shot that bounces. He is Jamrick off the boards, and the Oilers make a change, losing an edge, and some jeers from the Bandit faithful here. And here comes the Bandits back again, but McCar- or McCray takes that away. Here's Pasemko trying to get around. Rigo finds a trailer, works back, hit, scores! It only takes one. And Jack Works gets behind the Bandit defense. University. Regina Nath has his pocket pick. Here's Pasemko coming in. His shot getting a stick on that one is Michael Blayton. As tied up Pasemko trying to dig the puck loose. Gets for Works at the right circle. He'll turn on a dime back to the line. Parker a drive. Stop. Rebound. Scores! From a tight angle, Jack Works jams it home. And... 
the top two teams in the South Division. Yeah, three straight games up north and then three straight games on the road against the South will really test the medal of this team. One and a half to go here in the third period. Puck played up the middle. Pasemko has it. He works around Chu. Pasemko stops up, passes it off to Works, and he scores. Jack Works makes it 8-1 Oilers with 119 to go. Cleared away by Bodnichuk. Lamb on a pass to the line. Spanned on. Turned over. Works right in towards the goal, and he scores. A bad turnover by the Oil Barons at their own blue line as they did not get the puck out. And Jack Works is someone you do not want to give time and space to as he makes no mistake by pulling Evan Fredette and just like that we're tied. Barons with a little bit of slot to play in their own zone. Something they're not necessarily uh, not... Uh, now at the blue line, Works into the middle. Works with McGregor on him. Works to the goal shot. Stopped by Hess behind the net. Works still with it. Get caught up with the official. McGregor falls. Works into the middle. Works shot. He scores. Jack Works. to nothing Okotoks. They've had their way with the Eagles and they continue to do so tonight. Let's see if the Oilers, check that, if the Eagles can change things up. And that's, he scored from an impossible angle. Jack Works right on the goal line, just took a stab at it and it got him. A power play for the Oilers so far up to 7-4 lead in the game, but they trail 1-0. 30 seconds left in their man advantage as Noah Kim brings it over the line, bumps with Brandon Rude. Bromhead trying to hammer it behind the net, but Works knocked it down, and the Oilers will get it back to the point for Parker. Now to the center point, Kinderchuk for Kim. Back to the center point. Here's a try by Parker. That's blocked by Flores' his skate, and it comes out to the neutral zone. Noah Kim looping around the center ice logo. Pass up ahead to Kinderchuk. They got Works behind the defense. Short uh, breakaway, and he scores. It's a power play goal, I beg your pardon. And Jack Works has tied the game 1-1. Well, that one there, Works just gets in behind the D, and a nice little touch pass finds him. A little bit of a breakaway for him. He goes five-hole on Duncan Hughes, and Jack Works so hard to stop, especially... It's 0 for 2 on the Smith Group power play. Phillips lost it in the far corner. Okotoks back the other way on a 2-on-1. Freeborn with Works. Freeborn, and breaking it up. Braden Krieger, toe save, Charleston. And then Works scores. Jack Works cleans up a loose puck. Trying to clear. But Works off the boards. Tied up before Works can sweep it ahead. Here come the Oilers on the attack. Works trying to get around Bertamini. Partial break. Works and scores! And Jack Works. And some frustration by the Oilers as they know it's been a tough sledding ever since they tied the game. The Canucks dead, but Jack Works comes right back. At 7.59 to give the Oilers the lead once again. It's only a matter of time, it felt like. Sunday afternoon as well, a little mini two-game goal streak for him. As Now the Oilers do clear, race to the puck, but Cody can't win that one. Spaffer takes him away. As Cam Moore does clear, just out to the line, and Kendra Chuck finds Brett Moore. But right angle as Chin takes him off the puck. Great feet, trying to go back for works. He couldn't get a shot away, and holds the half wall to the line. McCray, his shot, redirected the way through. No chance for Kendra Chuck. Now he'll turn and fire as... Kendra Chuck with his first third on that scoring line as he's got just over 50 points. Here's Kim, sharp angle, trying to tuck him behind Chapman. That stop, loose puck, works, backhand, scores! Cut Chapman on the save on the other side, and the only person who knew where the puck was was Jack, was Jack Works, and the Oilers are back in it. Line stops up, loses control, and Eric Parker will fire it back down the distance. Dylan Witzke. Back out on the ice after serving his penalty. He's taken off the puck by Works. Works is with Kindrachuk. Works waiting to the backhand. Waiting. Shot. Kick save. Left save by Chapman. Another shot. He scores. Jack Works stuck with it. And a working man's.
Fasemko to the line. Cross side to Kim. Now high point for Eric Parker. Back to Fasemko. One timer. Not much on. Hit them away through and following up. This Kim trying to have a tap in, but it just hopped over his stick. Kept alive by the others. Here's work. Up to the line. Parker walks in. Quick slap shot and a toe save. Made by Tisdale. Down to five seconds left in the other power play. Another time for Parker on the ice. Rebound. Lock scores. Eric Parker with two attempts at the point, and Jack works it at the right place in the right time. Hernandez through center ice, works it into the Okotoks end. Kim takes the puck away, two on two for the Oilers. Kim works it to the outside, drops it back for Jack Works. Works shoots, scores! And Okotoks wins, 5-4 the final. A minute eight into overtime. Okotoks wins, 5-4. Post game show next, this is Martin Christ. Moore wins the draw to Keanu Robinson. Back to Moore. For Robinson at the blue line. Through traffic, it was high. It hit a body. Now Truman has it. Settles it down. Robinson couldn't keep it in and lost it. And now a chance. Works. In. Shoot. Scores. Short handed goal for Jack Works. He turned the puck over. And down the right side. Sterling tries to go in the middle, and Eric Parker pokes it away from him. Now Bernard Docker with it, puts it in the Canmore zone, heads off on a change, 1.40 to go. Alex Young falls down in front of the net, and the uh, Oilers score. And Jack Works gets the better of Alex Young right in front of the Canmore goal.